Apple for actions. Hey there, my name is Justin Appleseed, and my favorite thing in the entire world, that's right, apples. And my second favorite thing in the entire world, you got it, math. So today, I'm going to use an apple to demonstrate fractions, which is part of math. I have one whole apple here. One. I have one whole apple. And that means I need to put a one on the board to stand for that apple. But now, I'm going to cut the apple into two equal pieces. You should probably have a parent help you with the knife. And if you're doing it by yourself, be sure to keep your fingers out of the way, like I'm doing. Now I have two pieces of the same apple. If I put them together, I now have a whole apple again. But if I take them apart, I still have two pieces. So if I have two pieces of apple out of two total pieces, it's actually the exact same thing as having one whole apple. One is equal to two out of two pieces. They're the exact same. One is the same as two over two. But if I take away one of the pieces of the apple, that means I only have one of the two total pieces of the apple. I will now have one piece out of two total pieces. And this is called one half, because you only have one half of the apple. Or else, you can cut the apple again into four different pieces. Be sure to be careful with the knife. They can be very dangerous. Now, I have four pieces of the same apple. If I put them together, I have a whole apple. So if I have four pieces out of four total pieces of the same apple, I actually have just one whole apple. Four out of four is the same as one, the exact same way that two over two is the same as one. But if I take away one piece of the apple and I leave the other three over here, how many would I have? If I have one piece of apple out of four total pieces, it's really just one quarter. You have one part of the four total pieces, and that's written one over four, or one fourth, or one quarter. To review, this is one whole apple. If I cut it in half, I now have two pieces out of two total pieces to make my whole apple. So it's the exact same thing as having one whole apple. If I only have one of those pieces, it's called one half. I have one out of two total pieces. Now if I have four pieces of the same apple, out of four pieces, that is also the same as one, because the four pieces together add up to one apple. Now if I only have one out of four, that's called one-fourth. I have one piece out of four total pieces to make up the one apple. So you see, Fractions are just pieces of the whole. Now that's a good apple.